All right, guys. Hey, my name is Marcus Smith. Me and my fellow partner, Bryce Wild here. We'll be telling you all some sneakers that are coming out soon. Um, September 1st, we got the Nike SB Dunk Low, J Park, Chicago. September 4th, we got the Nike Air Force Ones. September 5th, we got the Nike SB Dunk High Doremian. Hey, those are a big anticipated release. We also have a lot of Nike Dunk Lows and Dunk Nike Dunk SBs coming out um, in September. Um, let me see. We also have the Nike LeBron Soldier 14 is coming out in a second. Um, a lot of Adidas, a lot of Nikes coming. Let's see what else we got coming soon. Um, let me see. Um, we also have some Air Max Batmans coming out. Some, um, let's see. You got a lot of Air Max, a lot of Air Max, a lot of Nikes, a lot of Adidas, a lot of women's shoes. So you guys be on the lookout for those shoes. And yeah, Bryce is gonna come with you guys with a lot more heat. So we got Jordan One Lows, we have Air Jordan Thirteens, we have, you know, some a lot of unreleased sneakers like these uh, lace and polka dots, women uh, day breaks. Those day breaks are very anticipated. Um, women's shoes have been very heavy. We just had some women four um, off white cream low. Um, yeah, some cream lows come out. Those were nice. We got another Nike Dunk Low at the Casino Times Nike Dunk Lows. We have a lot of collaborations coming on from a lot of shoe companies. So be on the lookout for the September, October, this fall season, fall size winter season uh, shoe releases. Bryce is going to come with y'all with more. Hope you guys enjoy my little segment of up and coming, upcoming shoes that are releasing. All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Bryce. And I want to take y'all through usually how I go to look for um, upcoming shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my screen up for y'all. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on Yeezy Supply. So here we go. Basically, this week we have like two Yeezy Slides dropping. You know, Yeezy Slides has kind of been popping for a hot minute now. When they they used to sit on Yeezy Supply, but I mean, I don't think they're gonna sit on Yeezy Supply this week because everybody's wearing them now. So we got two colorways. We got the suit and the core. I'm actually gonna go for them to come out tomorrow at 9 a.m. as you see in 19 hours. And I'm gonna go for the suit colorway because this dark one doesn't look like something I would wear, but I'll probably wear this lighter one. So I'll be up in the morning early for that. And that's September 4th when those come out. And then we have the Quantums. I'm not sure. I think they come out on Saturday. Yeah, I think these Quantums come out on Saturday. I'm not too interested in these because these are like a basketball shoe, but um, they're coming in full family size as you can see. And I mean, it might be a cop, it might not. I'm not sure. But the Yeezy Slides are dropping for 55, and I'm pretty sure the Quantums are dropping for, I think, 170. Probably. I'm not sure. I'll probably have to look that up. Anyways, next, on to sneakers. Um, on September 4th, which is Friday, probably when you're seeing this, we have two dunks. This is like a new dunk slight disrupt, but they're women only shoes, so they only go up to like a size 12 in women, which is like a 10 in men. I'm not too interested in them. They're not really talking about much. Anyways, we have a black tire forces that also come out on Friday. Um, they look pretty straight, but it doesn't look like something I'll probably cop for the toe. Yeah, something I wouldn't cop for the toe, but that's an easy cop 120. I don't think too many people. All right, then also on Friday, we have the Baroque Brown Air Jordan 1s, and we already know Air Jordan 1s are looking really nice right now, especially highs. But this colorway is just not too appealing. Like, it's, it's so much going on, almost like a what the shoe like with the Jordan 1. That's what it's looking like right now. It just has so much going on. Like, I personally wouldn't count this for the toe, but I mean, they're obviously gonna have some good resale on it because it's Jordan 1s and we're in 2020, so. I don't know that's gonna work well. I'm probably not gonna try to cop because if it doesn't resell well, it's probably not something I would keep for myself anyway. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna get these, but they're selling in big kids and adult for 170 and 130. Let's see what else we have. We also on September the 5th, we have some chili reds, Jordan 7s. Probably, I'm not even too interested in those. Um, if I'm not interested, I'm probably just gonna go on past it. But um, that's pretty much the end for this week. Um, yeah, that's really it for this week on Sneakers app. And then I'm gonna check StockX last. So on StockX this week, we have 
same kind of things. It shows you more things, but you know, sneaker acts caters um, strictly to like Nike shoes, and it doesn't even show all of them. It just shows the ones that are dropping by Nike. And then we have Yeezy Supply, which is basically only Yeezys. Straight that. But stock X, it really goes over all sneakers, really. But the same thing we're seeing the Baroques. You see how much they're going for right now, like 285. That's like the lowest ass they're asking for. And then 216 and these are like all resale prices so they're gonna be different for the retail so we already see like these slides are going for 149 164 but they retail like 55 so that would be some good profit if you could be some nice and much money i guess anyways um yeah we got the jordan 8s retro but this is great school only not too interested. And then we have some Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0s and they're dropping in like um, different college colorways right now. So they have Miami, Texas A&M, ASU, Nebraska, Washington, Kansas, Indiana, Louisville. But um, let's see what they're talking about. They're looking like some nice, I don't know. It's kind of, I feel like 220 would be around like retail price. But mm, it's like forty dollars over retail because their retail price is gonna be one eighty when they drop. So um, that's pretty much wraps up all for this week. They had some more color rays for those disrupts I was talking about earlier, but that's pretty much wraps it up for this week. Um, nothing else I'm pretty interested in, but y'all should make sure y'all go ahead and try to cop Yeezy Slides is what I'm looking for really. Um, I don't know if it'll be after they drop by the time you all see this, but um, I think it's a great investment. It's good for the toe, and I feel like it's good for your pockets if you're trying to resell it. So I would say go for it. All right, I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a simple experiment that you can do at home to learn more about density. For this experiment, you'll need the following from left to right. Water, oil, a cup, food coloring, a top, a nail, some sponge, and some syrup. To begin this experiment, you will first add water, but before you add the water, you must add at least a little bit of food coloring, and then you're going to mix it in like so. Once you mix it, then you're going to pour it in the glass. Next, you're going to be adding some syrup. I added extra syrup because it needs to be leveled out as evenly as you can get it. The last liquid that you're going to need to add is the oil.
Once you do that, you're going to want all the liquids to settle for about 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes is up, that's when you start testing the experiment. So the first thing that I dropped into the cup was a metal bolt, which sunk to the very bottom because it's so dense. The next thing I took was a blueberry and dropped it in and as you can see here, it sits on top of the water. And lastly, I dropped a piece of sponge inside of the glass, which means that the oil has more density than the sponge. Behind the science with Cadence. The purpose of this experiment was to show the denser a liquid is, the easier it is for an object to float on it. None of the liquids that I used today mix because they are of different densities. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, my name is Jakai Leverage, and I play on the Westlake football football team. I'm going to be telling you about what's coming up in Westlake football. Westlake football will be playing their first game August 18th versus Creekside at Westlake High School. The game will be a little bit different this year as Corona and other things are going on around our world today. Westlake football has moved to 6A division in Georgia High School Football Association. People around my football team does not like that corona is happening. It is causing them to not be able to visit schools, talk to coaches, and other things. It is hurting their chances of going to college for free. Westlake will be competing for a state championship this year in a region, another region trophy like they always do every year. Westlake have a powerhouse at offense and defense this year. For any team that plays Westlake High School this year, it's going to be a hard task to stop in their powerful offense and defense this year. Hello, welcome to the Daily News. Today we are talking about the coronavirus and how it has changed our way of life. Basically, we're all stuck here. We are in quarantine and um, some things have canceled and some things we're still trying to keep going. The coronavirus has been here since February and we're working our way around it. Basically, um, sport, uh, uh, the sports world, they're just starting back, um, including basketball. Basketball have created this thing called a bubble where nobody goes in, nobody goes out, they don't do anything this. play basketball. And, and um, there will be a champion crown this year. Right now, the favorites are the Clippers and the Lakers, and they are living up to that favorite. We will see what happens in the playoffs. Um, it, it is still unclear on what the NFL wants to do. Um, nothing has been confirmed, but they are practicing. Um, baseball, they're still going normal like COVID never happened. Um, there's just a lot going on. Um, they're having cases because they're not in the bubble. All of these sports do not have fans. Um, all sports don't have fans at this point. Um, it's just a, um, a unprecedented time that we're in right now. Um, schools. Schools are going virtual. Most of them are. And most of them are trying to um, do the social distancing guidelines, which is six feet apart, and then they wear your mask, and uh, the hood things that you've probably heard all throughout quarantine. But some people still aren't doing it, so. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, yeah, uh, this is a, a, a unprecedented time. And um, that's what's going on um, today. 
Yeah. I'll see y'all later.